Hello everyone, welcome back to Edilogo's Mind. Today our topic is the working of the United Nations. The structure of the UN and its working. You can see on the screen the UN head headquarters, New York City, USA. Like any other organization, the United Nations also has several functions, several duties, several work. It aims to maintain peace by settling disputes between nations through negotiations and preventing armed conflicts. It provides technical and scientific expertise in various fields like agriculture, education, health, etc. It needs international cooperation in solving humanitarian, economic and cultural problems. It is a center where the efforts of various nations are combined to attain all these aims. Means UN is an organization where so many countries are members in this organization and if anybody making any problem with other countries country if any country has any disputes of uh, having with other country then they should uh, the human body negotiate peacefully and uh, solve try to solve the dispute and uh, try to prevent armed conflicts means try to prevent any type of war. To become a member of United Nations, the foremost qualification is a nation's desire for world peace. Who, the nations who want to uh, keep peace in the world, they only become the uh, member of this UN and they have to signature the charter's provisions means there are some laws are abide and decisions of the UN should be uh, should be followed by this country then only the country get the membership of the UN organization okay organs of the UN there are six organs of the UN they are working for peacekeeping for uh, to throughout the world number one general assembly now uh, four uh, six uh, divisions i am talking about general assembly security council economic and social council trusteeship council international court of justice secretariat now we are going to discuss about the general assembly you can see on the screen the picture of General Assembly. It is the main and the largest body of the UN. Yes, it is made up of all member nations. There are 193 members, nation members in this UN. 193 countries are member of this UN. It is based in New York City, USA, in America. The Assembly meets once a year from mid-September to mid-December. As it is the policy making body, body uh, votes are cast by every member nation when a decision needs to be taken. When any new decision, decisions are taken by this UN organization, then at least two third of the votes, uh, nation members vote needed to pass this decision in the favor of the members. So, that is the rule at least two third votes of the members of 193 member nation members votes needed to pass any new decisions emergency meetings are held during the crisis if any uh, emergency war or any uh, problem arises then extra meeting also in that cases it is held there assemblies member elect a president to preside over the assembly there are uh, definitely uh, there are a there is a precedent in any organization so they votes cast their vote and uh, they elect a president among 193 uh, country members now we are going to talk about the security council 
so everybody can see the pic of the security council on the screen it is responsible for the maintenance of peace and security in the world it has 15 members out of which five members you can see in the center five members are sitting they are the permanent members other 10 members are non non permanent members the five permanent members are from china means are the countries china france united kingdom russia and the united states you can see five people five representatives of this five country they are sitting in between they are having the uh, way to power these members are most powerful the decisions taken by them are final as they have way to power Veto power means I deny. Means any decisions taken by this uh, group, by this uh, the security council, if anybody said no, means among the veto power, veto power means uh, the five, among the five, uh, impo uh, five permanent members, uh, if anybody is saying no and majority should be say yes, then only the decision will be passed permanently. Now the third, Secretariat, the Secretariat, it is the administrative organ of the United Nations. It is located at the headquarter of the UN in New York City. The Secretary General is the Chief Officer of Head of the Secretariat. He works on pressing matters of concern on the agenda of the UN. Any problem which threatens the peace and security of the world is brought to notice by him. Means any problems are arise in the world among any countries that he only bring him uh, to the UN that, that these things are happening, these problems are arise in such and such countries. He reports on the UN's work all over the world over all the work of uh, any problems arise then he only reports to the UN the general the secretary general of the United Nations at present uh, some it's uh, some okay next I'm going to now next the International Court of Justice it settles legal legal disputes between nations. It is located at Hague in Holland. It has 15 judges belonging to different member nations. Means different nations member are the 15 judges are from different nation, different countries. They serve for nine years in the International Court of Justice and advise on international laws no two judges may represent the same country means all the 15 judges have to from different 15 countries when a case is being judged a minimum of nine judges need to be present the decisions by the court must be abided by all cost means any problem arouse in any nations throughout the world or among the 193 member uh, country members then their legal matters are going to this uh, UN uh, court, international court, and at least nine members have to present in this court to solve this uh, legal matter. And whatever the uh, decisions come, that should be final for them. Now next, Economic and Social Council. It promotes the welfare of people and works for human rights and fundamental freedom. It has a network of organizations to help the poor, the sick and those who cannot read and write. A number of groups work under this council. They are called commissions. This council concentrates on the status of women, finance matters, world trade and welfare of world population in general so i think you understand 
what is the eco sock means the economical of economic of social councils job now the last organ the trusteeship council it supervises the welfare of department people under the un and help them to attain self government all the countries have now become independent and have joined the un the last one was pele which became independent in 1994 the trusteeship council is no more functional now so at last uh, the country now now maximum all the countries in the world are free freedom all the countries got freedom and they are the um, they are the member of this trusteeship council at last that uh, you can see 11 trust territories supervision uh they are doing self government by 1994 so all this thing so read the lessons very nicely and if you like this video put a like and do subscribe all of you because in next video this question answer i am going to give so everybody subscribe this channel i hope you will be beneficial for that thank you very much